Hello everybody and welcome to this course on installing Hazura GraphQL Engine using Docker on your local environment. Right, let's get started. So if we look over here on github.com you can see that uh, I've got a repository here which goes through everything in this video. So there's a short readme file here that you can follow uh, and there's also the Docker Compose file which we're going to take a, a look at right now. So feel free to pull that repo down into your local machine and uh, follow along. So in the Docker Compose file, we've got three services. We've got the database service, Postgres, the PG Admin service, and the GraphQL engine service from Hazura. So the Postgres image I'm pulling down is version 10.6. You can pull down that version or another, it's up to you. Uh, the PG Admin version is just the latest and it depends on Postgres, so it means that Postgres has to be running before this is running. And we're forwarding port 5050 to port 80 so that we can call up and load the PG Admin console on localhost 5050. You'll also notice these default uh, environment variables here for email and password and we'll just leave them as they are. That allows us to log in. The GraphQL engine, you'll notice that we're using version 1.00 beta 6. This is the latest version of Azura at the time of write, uh, writing this uh, video here. And also port 8080 is forwarded to port 8080 so that we can basically load the Azura console in our uh, browser on the, on the local host port 8080. Finally, there's the GraphQL database URL which we will need these parameters for later when we log in to the um, database instance via PG admin. So it's worth noting that this is the username, Postgres. The password is at Postgres. Uh, the port number is 5432 and the, and the database that we're going to be using is called Postgres. Okay, without further ado, let's head over to our console window and to start up that Docker container there, all the, all the uh, basically all the containers in our Docker Compose file, we type docker-compose up. And that is going to create the network and the volumes and it's going to spin up the containers for us, three containers as three services. So obviously those those images were already downloaded so that's why it will spun up pretty quickly. So it looks like it's running. So now we can head over to our browser and we can take a look at the Hazura console which is at this address right here. This address here. Localhost88 forward slash console. So you load that in. Uh, load that up here in the browser and we see a fresh GraphQL console from Azura. So what about the database? How do we know if Azura is properly connected to the database and how can we test that and pull data from our Postgres database into Azura? Well, what we're going to do is we head over to the data tab there and we're going to create a table through the Hazura console, which will create a table in the database uh, instance that we are running. So click Create Table, and we're going to create a table called Profile. And we'll create an, a column ID of type integer. And we'll create another column called Name of type text. And we're going to select the ID as being the primary key. Once we've done that, we can click Add Table. So according to Azura here, the table has been created. But how can we be sure that the table has been created in the database that's running in our Docker um, instance? Um, and how can we check that? Now, we could use the command line uh, tools to do that, but I'm going to use PG Admin for this video as it's uh, much nicer and clearer to uh, see and understand. So. If you go to localhost 5050, as I just did here in the browser, we will use the username pgadmin underscore, uh, sorry, pgadmin at example.com as per the defaults in the Docker Compose file that we looked at earlier, and the password is admin. You click the login button here, and you'll be loaded into, or logged in, sorry, to the pgadmin console. 
You'll notice here that servers tree is empty because we need to add a new server. Uh, remember that the PG admin is running inside a separate container to the database and we do need to tell PG admin about our database that we want to connect to and where it is and everything. So I'm going to call this Postgres Azure and I'm going to set the connection parameters as per the uh, parameters that I showed you earlier in the Docker Compose file. So the host name is Postgres, port is 5432, the username is Postgres, and the password is at Postgres. And we click Save. And as soon as we click Save, it connects to the database as well. So you'll see here that we've got the connection uh, name here that I gave it earlier. I called it Postgres Azure. And then we've got a databases tree here. So if we expand that, it will expand the Postgres database. And if we expand schemas, public, tables, we can see the profile table that we created and the two columns are there. So that to me is proof enough that uh, the table has been created successfully in our database. So how about adding data to that table? Well, we'll do that inside PG Admin for now. You can do that inside Hazura, but I want to show you how to do it inside PG Admin and then go back to Hazura to try it out querying the data. So right click or context click on the uh, on that item there on the on the table and go to view edit data all rows and click that. That basically does a query to the database using standard SQL and it gets everything from the profile table that we created and gives us this data output portion here. Here we can edit this, so I can add an, a row. I'm going to add one row with ID 1 and name Darren, and I'm going to add another row here, ID 2, and name is John. Uh, now, it's not saved yet because we need to click this button up here to save it, so click that button and it will save. And to do a sanity check to show that it's saved, we can re-execute this query. And if we do so, you see we get the two rows back. So that's it for PG Admin. And we've got our table uh, created. We've got two rows in there. Now we can flip back to the GraphQL dashboard of, of Azura and go to the GraphQL tab where we have the familiar, to those who are familiar with GraphQL, um, window here where we can basically run our own queries. So I'm going to just delete the standard uh, README bit there, and I'm going to, going to now query the profile table using GraphQL. So we type in query, and then we open our braces, and we say, well, what do we want to query? And it's profile, and what do we want from that? We want the ID and the name. And that's it for our basic query. It's going to fetch everything from the profile table uh, and return the ID and the name fields. And if I click Execute, we get back our data as shown there. Notice here there is an Explorer, which we can also use to build a query. It gives us the same thing. We can click Profile, we can click ID and Name, and then click Execute, and we get the same result back. So that's it for this video for now. Um, I will be back with more videos, which we will delve deeper into Azura, and we'll do some more queries, and we'll do some filtering, and we're going to look at all the different parts of Azura over the next few videos. But this was just a quick intro into getting started with Azura in your local environment using Docker. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.